Eleanor, Robert Southey. Once more to daily toil, once more to bear the weights of infamy, from every joy the heart can feel excluded, I arise, worn out and faint with unremitting woe. Once again the third steps I trace the hollow-sounding shore, the swelling waves gleam to the morning sun, and dazzle o'er with many a splendid hue the breezy strand. There was once a time when Eleanor gazed on the opening beam with joyous eye and in my guilt and grief, when her full soul felt the mild radiance and her rising day waked but to pleasure, and thy seagirt verge oft England, hath my evening steps stole on, oft have mine eyes surveyed the blue expanse and marked the wild winds swell the ruffled surge, and seen me upheaved below bosom rage rush on the rock. And then my timid soul shrunk at the perils of boundless deep, and heaved a sigh for suffering marinas. Ah, little deeming, I myself was doomed to tempt the perils of a boundless deep, an outcast, unbeloved, unbewailed. Why stern remembrance must my iron hand harrow my soul? Why calls thy cruel power the fields of England to my excellent eyes? The joys which once were mine, even now I see the lowly, lovely dwelling, even now behold the wood vine clasping its white walls, and hear the fearless red breast chirp around to ask the morning meal. I was one with a friendly hand to give their morning near, was one to laugh a song, when lingering morn straight o'er the chilly landscape with dim light, through the opened lattice hung my head to hear the snowdrops bud, a vents at eve, the mildly fading sun for summer sun, would have a laugh to mark the rock's slow course, and hear the hollow croak, who time he sought the churchyard elm, whose wide bowing boughs full foliaged half a concealed the house of God. Where, my dear father, often ever heard a loud voice explain the wondrous works of heaven to sinful men. I little deemed the virtuous bosom that thy shameless child so soon should spurn for lesson, sink the slave of vice and inner for me. Hurling prey of brutal appetite, at length worn out of the famine, and the avenging scourge of guilt should dare this honesty, yet dread to die. Welcome, ye savage lands, ye barbarous climes, the angry England sends her outcast sons, all your joyless shores. A bark long tempest tossed on life's inclemented sea, her hails to heaven, where comes the drear scene, the marshy plain, the briar and tangled wood, all the perils of a world unknown, for Eleanor has nothing new to fear from fickle fortune. All her wrinkling shafts, barbed with disgrace and venom with disease, have pierced my bosom, and the dart of death has lost its terrors to wretch like me. Welcome, ye marshy hills, ye pathless woods, where the rude native rests his vivid frame beneath a sheltering shade, where, when the storm is rough and bleak, it rolls along the sky, but numbs his naked limbs, he flies to seek for dripping shelter. Welcome, ye white plains, and broken by the plough, and hilfed by hand of patient rustic, where the lowing herds, and for the music of the bleating flocks, Lorne heard the kangaroo's sad note, deepening in distance. Welcome, ye rude climes, the realm of nature, for as yet unknown the crimes and comforts of luxurious life, nature beninly gives to all enough, it denies to all a superfluity. What over gap of infamy I were, for day by day along the echoing beach, I carve away foreign shells, I day by day I earn an honest sea my frugal food, lay me down at night to calm repose, and no more contempt the mercenary tool of brutal lust, or ease the indignant heart of the virtuous stifled sigh to put my arms on the rank felon, for daily bread to hack on hedge into my poisoned breast. On these wild shores repentant saviour hand shall prop my secret soul, shall cleanse its wounds, and is the faithful penitent for heaven.